Hello, and welcome to the watering hole. Thanks for checking out this clip. Don't forget to like and subscribe because that'll make the baby Jesus cry. And I know how much you guys love making the baby Jesus cry. Because yeah, like basically every massive event. Okay, we're talking about the first item. Anyway, let's get to tweets. Hooray! Okay. Crazy people on the internet. Well, there's one from Donald Trump here. Oh, goody. Uh, Is he allowed back on Twitter? No. I signed uh, up for a truth. So I, I have I have a policy because I've been burned by it a couple of times where I will not save other people's screenshots. I have to find it myself. Fine, so, Jaren. so even if it's something that like it's being shared by someone that I trust and the tweet is now deleted, so I can't go back and see it. If I didn't see the tweet originally, I don't share the screen. It's, it's just mine. Uh, I have mm -hmm. to either take it myself or I have to have seen the tweet myself like the actual tweet mm -hmm. um so i saw people posting what trump was posting on truth social and i was like okay well i want to use some of this now i have to look but i have to go look to make sure it's real and it is every single one was real <laughs> every single one i only picked one but yeah so i have a truth social account now congratulations anyway this is uh costy w hin says Still rejoicing in wake of a Roe versus Wade being overturned. May the Lord work th mightily through this as he already has. Keep rejoicing, keep praying, keep enduring. Now, the thing I find interesting about this, though, is if you consider this the Lord's work, then what was the Lord doing when Roe versus Wade passed in the first place? That would be my question. Um, yeah. Clearly it was the devil or... No, because then it would be the devil, devil defeating God. I don't know. Yeah, like, I don't know. Like Maybe it was it was a deliberate choice on the part of God, so that more people would come to see the evils of abortion. Oh no, I I got it. Yeah, God was using abortion to refocus the evangelicals away from the segregation issue. <laughs> but see, the problem with the problem with reasoning things like that is that um like so so if you believe that roe versus wade being overturned overturned is the work of god then that means supreme court decisions are in the realm of things that god will decide on himself which means that when roe versus wade first happened that was also the that work was of god. Also god so that means whatever good that god was supposed to get out of roe versus wade being passed it was worth murdering 600 million babies or whatever the number is that they always pull out <sighs> So it's just like it. There's a Catholic church down the road from us that has all these little white crosses on their front lawn, and it like yes. they're right on a main I've highway. Just those. little white crosses, yes. like it, and it, there's a sign saying "In memory of the unborn" or like something. And I'm like, what is wrong with you? There's there's one that's not too far away from <sighs> here that uh, they actually did like one cross per like abortion, st like statistically how many abortions happen in their area. So they like they tried to actually make it local, and it's not a very big area either. So it's like, uh, that's kind of mm. that's sketchy. Yeah. And we have oh this this was fun. Did you see this one when it originally happened? The uh, representative Daryl Issa says, "Just when you think Biden's record can't get worse, only this fiscal year the Border Patrol has arrested 50 people on the yes. FBI's terror watch list. And I was very, very confused. Is he not arresting enough people yeah. on the FBI terror watch list? That's that's more than the is previous five years Is he arresting too combined. many on the terror watch list? I, I don't know how this is, is yes. Yeah, so mm. like... So if you if you take this guy at his word, then that means that Biden has arrested more terrorists in in six months than, than Trump, Trump arrested his in his entire, entire term. Presidency. Aren't these guys supposed to be the law and order people that are all like, yeah, and and they like build a wall and stop immigrants and, but yes, hmm. Yeah, like I, I, like I don't even understand what he was going for here. Like, no, when I, I don't when know. I first saw this, I actually had to look him up to make sure he was a Republican. Yeah, because like my first thought was like, oh, this is a Democrat trying to show something that Biden has done right. But then Maybe it's like, just but then it's like confused. his record can't get worse. I don't know. This was, <laughs> yeah, I, it's. I just thought it was hilarious. It was it was amusing. Amusing and confusing. 
I love how Twitter has Issa at fifteen percent normal. So that's that's the um, that's the bot sentinel thing, which is it's basically the higher the percentage, the less seriously you have to take the person. Um, I I don't know how, but recently my score has gone up to like twenty percent. I used to hover <laughs> around ten. I think probably like I've been getting pissed off about Supreme Court stuff recently, and it's oh, been yeah. creeping up as I've been posting about that. So I don't know. I've actually. Um, I've actually deleted Twitter from my phone um, so have on I. the advice of my therapist uh, because it was it like it's just this massive time sink that is pulling me out of other stuff. Yeah. So um, if I'm on Twitter less in the coming months, that's why. Um, but yeah, it's, it's also a part of my job, though, so I'll still be on it. Maybe my score will go down if I don't have easy access to it. <laughs> Yeah, Bot Sentinel is not actually really great at telling who's a bot and who's not, but it is good at telling who's a troll. <laughs> Definitely. Donald Trump hit 100% on it for a brief moment before he got banned. That's, that's not terribly surprising, if I'm very honest. I found it funny. <laughs> uh, losing My Mind says, Leftists, you can't not have pronouns. Everyone has pronouns. Also leftist, I'm asexual. It's like, yeah? Who's saying that they don't have do do pronouns? asexual people not have pronouns? I mean, like maybe isn't isn't the I there a pronoun? I am asexual. Yes, yes. Like I mean, I'm not great at the grammar, so like I might misidentify something as a pronoun that's not. But I'm pretty sure that asexual <sighs> people can be he, him, they, them, she, her. I don't think this person knows what a pronoun is. No, I mean like, or indeed sexuality. Well, I, I just admitted that I don't have a great understanding of it because I hate grammar. I do grammar by the seat of my pants. I don't know what anything's called. <laughs> but like, at least I know that everybody has pronouns. Yeah, those are just those two statements that, yeah, that's like a massive non sequitur. Speak Japanese pronouns are optional. See, yeah, I'm yeah, and, just to learn Japanese. And up until recently, I thought I could pronounce Japanese. <laughs> Everyone except Vice can speak Japanese. Hey, I okay. So, um, restaurant I used to work at, we had a lot of Japanese tours coming through, and uh, they like it's it's a tour group. They don't really speak English. Their tour guide speaks English, and so it's like the kind of go between. So I, I learned a few key phrases in Japanese, like uh, "doitashimashite" is "you're welcome." Um, <clears throat> there was uh, uh, "oyasuminasai," I think was uh, it was one of the respectful goodbyes, like have a like not just goodbye, but like have a mm -hmm. good evening or something like that. Um, but yeah, and, and there was uh, we had one server who is from Japan, so he spoke Japanese fluently. So he he was always uh, it was always good to have him on have when him. The Japanese tours were in, and he would like give us these things to uh, to remember it. So like doitashi mashite is don't touch my mustache, <laughs> and uh, uh, oh yeah, sumi is uh, like if you're angry at somebody, be, oh yeah, sumi, and then. <laughs> Nasai was just Nasai, <laughs> but yeah, that's that's the extent of my Japanese knowledge. Well, no, I, I Baka is stupid. I know that because <laughs> I went to a high school that had a couple Japanese students, so of course we learned how to insult each other. And <laughs> it's the traditional way that teenagers relate yeah, to each no, other. Yeah, no, no, we we uh, so the the high school I went to had a dormitory and we had students from all over the world. Um, so I can insult you in five languages. Can't say anything else in most of those languages. <laughs> uh, in the name of Jesus. Oh, says, uh, so this, I actually have, I have supporting documents for this one. Uh, so this is about the January 6th trial. Uh, he says, hearsay is never an accept never accepted as testimony. I remember playing a game as a child where we say something to the child next to us and they pass it on by the time it reaches the last child. Uh, it is nor it is, or it is not at all what was originally said. Yeah, that's a telephone game. We all know. I was going to say that's a very long way of saying the telephone game. Yeah, um, but yeah. Well, so so I, to focus on the hearsay is never accepted as testimony. 
This isn't a trial. What? Okay. Not only that, but it usually also is. isn't hearsay. It usually it's is accepted. eyewitness testimony. Well, no, I think what they're getting at is like um, the uh, the yeah. This was this was just today, so this was probably with okay. regards to the surprise witness that showed up yesterday, because um, a lot of her testimony was I heard um, Mark Meadows say this, I heard okay. so and so say that, but all right, so obviously not a trial, so absolutely it's fine. Like if it comes to criminal trial, then we'll have to worry about hearsay exceptions or whatever. But um, it, it actually, most of the time, hearsay is accepted in a court. It's actually very rare for it to not be accepted. They do have to like submit a hearsay exception to show that it's one of the acceptable forms of hearsay. But one of the acceptable forms of hearsay is excited utterances, which are closely related to the present sense of impression. Uh, present sense impression is the hearsay exception for an excited utterance. The requirements for this exception apply uh, to apply is that there must have been a startling event and the de uh, and the declarant made the statement well under the ex excitement or stress of the event. So all the times when she testified that I heard Mark Meadows say, oh, fuck, we're all going to get arrested. That's an excited utterance. I would I would say so. And like. Uh, the, the present sense impression, so that that's very similar to an excited evidence or an excited utterance. Um, it's like when they, like when someone's like talking about their, like how they're feeling about events that are unfolding right in front of them. Mm -hmm. Um, it's, it's, it's almost the same thing, but it's legalese. So they have to have separate, like little bitty categories or whatever. But it's like most of her testimony falls into those two things right there. So like maybe maybe don't just uh, dismiss things as hearsay because you <laughs> just because you, you don't you like saw them. an episode of CSI once. <sighs> Watch some Legal Eagle. He'll tell you all about how often hearsay is used. Let's see. Sorry, now that I can actually like show chat messages, I'm like actually reading them. Oh, Jassa, we're getting there. We're getting there. If Trump wants to rebut the testimony, he needs to speak in front of Congress. Oh, we're not quite there yet. Kevin Sorbo. Sorbo's fun. Oh, God. We live in we a had world. We him last time, didn't we? We, we usually have Sorbo. Uh, <sighs> I, think, I think I'm sparing you a Turek this time. I don't think we have Turek. We live in a world where someone would rather kill their baby than not have sex. Also, he's... Oh, no, yeah, never mind. I was going to criticize his use of the wrong then, but I misread it. He used the correct then. Also, remember what I said earlier about giving people a pass for their grammar as long as it's understandable? <laughs> he doesn't get a pass <laughs> on anything. Yeah. So, I mean, the, the main issue here is with your definition of baby. It's like, just, uh, gosh. it's not a baby. It's just... I, I feel like so many people either don't have a basic understanding of human biology or do have it and are just willingly using incorrect language to make an emotional point that has zero basis in actual reality, in fact. And it's dumb and stupid and I hate it. Yeah. Well, okay, so actually I've been a bit of a cute kid story um, while I was putting the kids to bed today, we were roughhousing a little bit and, um, my daughter ended up kneeing me in the balls and it mm -hmm. hurt. And I went, Oh, I like did that whole thing. And then the joke that we came from that is if, if you're, for those of you who are unaware, I have had a vasectomy, so I'm no more kids for me. Um, so our joke was that like, she just reversed it. So it, like, <laughs> But yeah, like, no, there, there are precautions that you can take so that you don't end up with a baby. Like condoms. Yeah. And if you like, don't feel those, like a vasectomy. Those are things that these people are against as well, generally. <sighs> and like. So we're not allowed to use contraceptives. Nope. We're not allowed to have sex outside of marriage. And when you and have sex inside of marriage, it has to you, be. You should do it for the purposes of procreation. And procreation only. Yeah, just just ignore like, 
all of the scientific research on how good sex can be for you, like <sighs> in a loving relationship for your mental health. Just, oh my God. These people are dumb. Like I said, stupid, dumb and stupid. Jassa says Megan's work <sighs> words work for Kevin. He's stupid and I hate him. <laughs> I think I said this last time. I loved The Adventures of Hercules when I was a kid so much. And then when I got on Twitter and found him, it was like a minor heartbreak. Did you know he he, uh, he did a stint building furniture in Hamilton, Ontario, like an hour away from me? I didn't know that. Yeah, just for a bit. You could go to a furniture to get store closer in Hamilton. To Jesus and, or... I don't know, but like you could go <laughs> buy a chair built by Hercules. <laughs> Uh, yeah, pro forced birth. Oh, That's yeah. exactly what it is. It's not pro life. Flame it's pro forced birth. Flaming cow juice says also no masturbation. Yeah, these people are always against masturbation as well. But it's like, it's pretty like if you're against masturbation, then don't masturbate. Yeah. It's very easy. Well, don't police everyone else. It's in their own masturbatory. It's habits. very easy for some people. Exactly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but like, no, but it's, it's possible. It's within the realms of, of possibility. But also, just just speaking from the male <sighs> perspective, it is so well accepted right now that like having regular orgasms is good for your prostate. So like, it's healthy. Yeah, but God doesn't like it, Feist. No, God doesn't like it us to be. Healthy. I don't know why, and I don't know where the hell they get that from in the Bible because I'm. I'm relatively sure. Well, the, the only place the Bible mentions anything that can even be construed as masturbation is the story of Onan, and that's actually not masturbation, even like even a little bit. It's just that he spilled his seed on the ground, but it's it's not like he was masturbating instead of sleeping with who he was supposed to be sleeping with. It yeah. was he pulled out. <laughs> so they they take the pull out method of contraception as a a condemnation of masturbation and it wasn't even a general command it was just in that one specific instance mm -hmm. when you're supposed to be impregnating your dead brother's wife that's a sentence that's yeah no <laughs> that that's the story of onan yeah, yeah. god struck onan down down and killed him because he was not willing to impregnate his dead brother dead brother's wife but he was willing to have sex with her because because <sighs> men are the worst <laughs> Oh, some some Brenna says I love Dark Matter twenty five twenty five's take on that Bible story. I don't remember that one. I'm sure he's done it. I I like his uh, the biblical baby mamas one. Dark Matter is hilarious. Yes, there's a reason it's called Coitus Interruptus. <laughs> it's not sex if it doesn't end with an orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how many teenagers have? Oh my goodness, so many. <laughs> so many. Like, oh, but them. like what blows my mind, wait, it's not, it doesn't really blow my mind. It's just, it's so dumb because none of, none of the stuff that we've, we've talked about, but also no sex education. Yeah. So you're not allowed to do any of it and you're not allowed to talk about any of it. So then you just get a whole bunch of pregnant teenagers who are very confused about what the fuck just happened. Mm -hmm. and you're like, ah, uh, like, they are dumb and I hate it. Hmm. I think they're trying to edge everybody, says Hollyhock. <laughs> yeah, at least edging could be, if, if edging is done on purpose and for fun, it can be fun. So... If that's what you if that's what you're into, go for it. But don't like force everybody else into it. Yeah. Uh oh yeah. So this was a this was a response to the we live in a world where someone would rather kill their baby than not have sex. Someone was like, Medicaid covers IUDs for people using the but these women don't have access arguments. Like, yeah. So contraceptive is a thing that exists and should absolutely be used by people who don't want kids. They don't always work properly. They don't. And my <sighs> my third child is an IUD baby. Yeah, it happens. And like some people can't have IUDs and actually birth control, like medical birth control 
can have a whole host of side effects that aren't always suitable or acceptable. And mm -hmm. condoms split, people. Mm -hmm. And it's not like we're allowed to give kids lessons in how to put them on in schools anymore. So. Oh, yeah. Showing it showing it going on a banana is way too sexual. That would be grooming. <sighs> yes. Yeah. Well, uh, having said that, I am 100% in favor of free and freely available contraception in all forms. Um, I would also quite like them to release something for men that is not condoms um, because they have been developed, they do exist, but the medical side effects were deemed too high. Although I believe I read somewhere that they were minor compared to what women are permitted um, to experience in their own birth control. No, I, I saw I saw more of a deep dive on that. It wasn't mm -hmm. it wasn't minor compared to the women's birth control. Like there were actual like serious oh like actual problems okay. concerns. Um, yeah, that said, I would absolutely love for there to be a male version of the pill. I'm I'm not saying this to be like, oh no, no, no we shouldn't. Research oh no, that. but it, it's like, it's good to know that that's keep a, researching it. But um, yeah, no, that correct. that that was a narrative that kind of went around because that is kind of like because let's let's face it, if men had to face the exact same uh, side effects and severity as women did for birth control, they'd still make a fuss about it. Mm -hmm. Um. But that wasn't what happened in this instance. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, but that actually, like, with my vasectomy, um, I I can kind of like, I I I can kind of empathize better since the vasectomy with the uh, the point of view of people who can get pregnant and how much of a responsibility that is, um, because when I got my vasectomy, Mrs. Rhino and I actually. Um, were in disagreement about how many kids we were going to have. Like she actually wanted four and I'm mm -hmm. like, no, I'm happy with the three. Um, and now I do not say this. She would never have like tricked me by going off her pill or anything like that. Mm -hmm. She wouldn't have done any shenanigans like that. Like we, we were both of the opinion that like, if we have a fourth kid, we both have it to agree on it. Choice. We have to deliberately choose to have a fourth kid. Um, but because like my third kid was, we were on contraception and it didn't work. It was just such a sigh of relief when it's like, okay, well, like I like, and I think it was like the three month appointment. You get the sperm count done. It's like, okay, mm -hmm. yes, I am infertile. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and like, so, so I like, I, I can, obviously it's different. It's very, mm -hmm. very different, but I, I can empathize with how, uh, like how freeing it feels mm -hmm. to not have to worry about that like to know like i know that i have taken care of that whatever future partners i may have have going on You're i'm good. not gonna have i'm mm -hmm. not gonna father any more kids no matter mm -hmm. what um unless my daughter kicked me in the balls <laughs> <laughs> i mean like the, even vasectomies though they're not 100 percent. they can spontaneously mm -hmm. reverse themselves um i think at the point that i'm at like if it was going to happen like it I, would have I happened. think they happen within like the first like seven or eight months or something um but yeah, so yeah, I'm all for male birth control. I'm all for female birth control. I'm all for all the birth control. And when the birth control doesn't work, I'm all for the abortions. All for ability to get because, abortions, right. Because every child should be a wanted child. Yeah. And you and I both said this last time. We're both parents. Like, you should not ever force someone to have a child who does not fully want that child yes in in no yeah. way is that pregnancy sucks ethical oh dear god <laughs> <laughs> my last pregnancy was a twin pregnancy and jesus christ not going through that again <laughs> some brenna says only date post menopausal women also a good choice uh, okay next tweet donald trump I demand equal time. Sent. I'm not sure if this is while the hearings were airing or if, like while he was watching them later. But it's like, you know how you can get more time. You can just buddy? go. I'm you, sure you they'd can, be thrilled to yeah. listen to you. If you if you agree to like swear in and give testimony, they would be happy to have you, buddy. Like you don't need to demand it. You can just show up. 
Like it, he he likes to do power trip stuff. I bet you if he showed up at the at the houses of Congress, like just randomly without announcing it and just being like, "Hey, I'll testify now." All the people on that committee would just drop everything immediately yep. and be like, give me five like, minutes. Yeah, absolutely. I will be right there. Come testify for sure. So he can do one of those power trip moves that like makes them bend to his whim in order to get his testimony out there like that. So like, yeah, there's nothing stopping him from getting in front of the cameras except for the fact. Well, probably his lawyers are stopping him because they know that that would be a disaster for him. Oh. <sighs> Yeah. Oh, okay. And <sighs> Ooh, no, wrong button. Ah. There we go. Uh yeah, so Trump is our last tweet and I just thought that was funny. Uh, I just it's just the victim complex is so strong. Like honey, just just go talk to them. They would yeah. No one is stopping you. And no. well, I mean, like you said, apart from your lawyers, no, no one is stopping you. You can just go. Do, and... do you think his lawyers had to lie to him to get him to not go? I don't know. Like, I do, really don't know. Like, do you, do you think they're there telling him like, no, no, they're not allowing you to testify. You're not they allowed. You're not allowed to go. Like, because like we, we've seen, like we, we now know that he chokes his secret service agents when they don't drive where he wants them to drive. <sighs> So like, instead of his, like, if I was his lawyer, I'd be like, I don't want to tell him the yeah, truth. Right. I don't want to you're not allowed to do it. Just someone else is not allowed yeah, so to it's, do it. It's, it's not, not my, my choice. choice. Somebody else is stopping you. from. Yeah. <laughs> it's the Democrats. Did you see? I, 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 I can't believe this is true. But at the same time, I can absolutely see it being true. But apparently, like when he was in the White House, he would demand that uh, they, they fix the gorilla channel. And so there, there were staffers that were like putting together guerrilla documentaries and like broadcasting it as a as a special channel so that he could watch the gorillas. What? I don't know. I saw a post about it. It read like one of those posts that was designed to be like it's it's just it's just a little bit too yeah. absurd. So it's probably fake. But, but also, like, it's also you, very you plausible, kind of think... and you can see him doing that. So I'm pretty sure that's fake, but it's still a fun story. That is, yeah. I want a gorilla channel. Actually, I would just have it playing in the background. Gorillas. Yeah, gorillas are fun. <laughs> They're so human too. Like, if you if you ever watch young gorillas playing with each other, just, like, it's like my house on a Friday afternoon. Yeah, the, <laughs> the way they the way they roughhouse, the way they, they like, and you can you can see the point where it, oh, Kitty almost didn't make an appearance tonight, but there, there's her butthole right there. <laughs> Uh, um yeah so like the like the the way they play with each other and then you can see when it hits the point where like it's it's crossed a line and you can see the mama gorillas over there like looking like uh, okay yeah i'm gonna have to intervene soon and the, be gentle like, with your brother he's like, smaller than you yeah and it's it's so human like it's exactly the same way as our kids behave and like i don't like i'm not saying that to disparage my kids but no, yeah. but they're kids. And... Yeah, yeah. My kids are a bunch of gorillas. <laughs> my daughter is right out there. So, <laughs> my kids are also a bunch of gorillas. Yeah, four of the five definitely are. Yeah, and the creationists don't think that we're great apes. Like, just go watch the, <gasps> no, watch the gorillas play not. for a few minutes. Like, it's impossible to not see. I okay. So, uh, there's a uh, a woman that I went to school with that um, we used to joke that my wife stole all my friends. Mm -hmm. because like I, she was in my friend group and then my wife showed up later and she hang out with her and, but not me anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, so she, we, we ended up going to the zoo with her and her husband this one time. And I don't know about her. She probably is as well, but like her husband, very vocal creationist, like going around talking about like, Oh, they say birds are dinosaurs. That's just ridiculous. Isn't it? Like, like you, scoffing at all the signs but when we got to the gorillas he, he stopped and he was like wow they're just like people and like just no no, no sense of irony i'm just looking at him like yeah you know why because we're in the same group anyway my daughter is right outside so we should probably end the stream 
<sighs> well, it's been a joy. It has. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Uh, always fun. And uh, yeah, have a good night, everyone. Uh, I still haven't figured out how to end these things, so I'm just going to push the button. <laughs> Bye. Bye.